It's March Madness, and people want to know what's the deal with Ed Cooley's hair. Here's everything you need to know about that right now. Hello friends, I'm Tom Downey from Chat Sports. Every March we get the same questions when Providence plays on national TV. Uh, what's going on with Ed Cooley's hair? Why are there those weird bald patches? It's not a barber haircut gone wrong. It's not a weird dye job. Ed Cooley actually likely suffers from a condition that results in those bald patches. And when he's not ripping his pants during a basketball game, it's one of the things Ed Cooley is most known for. Cooley's been the head coach of the Providence Friars for several years now. He took over in 2011, is, has now guided the Friars to five straight NCAA tournament berths. Cooley's won 20 or more games in all of those last five seasons, posting a win percentage of over 60% at Providence. Before that, he spent four years as the head coach at Fairfield, even guiding the Stags to a 25-8 record and an NIT berth before he jumped ship to Providence. Before that, he was an assistant coach at Boston College, Rhode Island, and at Stonehill, where he played his college ball. And yet every March, it's not about how good of a coach Ed Cooley is. We get the questions about what's going on with his hair. Well, we are here to explain that to you. While Cooley has never publicly commented on the matter, he does have several of those ball sp spots on the back of his head. And naturally, and unsurprisingly, that leads to several rather mean and rude comments and oftentimes wildly offensive comments about Ed Cooley's hair on social media. According to a then Syracuse basketball reporter, Cooley suffers from a condition that results in those patches. And while Cooley hasn't publicly revealed it, there is one potential and maybe likely answer. That is alopecia areata. It's a relatively common autoimmune disease. It affects about 2% of the population, including nearly 7 million in the U.S. alone, according to the National Alopecia Areata Foundation. The immune system attacks health healthy hair follicles, resulting in the hair falling out. And this disease is often different for each person. For example, in rare cases, all the hair falls out of a person's scalp, which is actually what Charlie Villanueva suffers from. For some, the hair can grow back at any time and then fall back out again. But that's not always true, and it's rather unpredictable. In general, the disease causes round patches of hair loss or total hair loss of the head. And the alopecia areata theory, first proposed by LostLetterman.com, and that seems to be the most likely fit. So the next time you're watching a Providence basketball game at the bar or with a bunch of friends, and people ask what's going on with Ed Cooley's hair, now you can give them a little bit of an insight there and seem like the smartest guy in the room.